there are countless variations of shakshuka, depending on a taste and a country. But they have one thing in common. Eggs and tomatoes. Hi everyone, I'm Tatiana and this is Bread at AM. Today I'm going to show you a Middle Eastern, North African inspired version of shakshuka. Now a lot of people like to add meat, like merge sausages or different types of vegetables. I'm going to do a very basic version. I'm just going to add roasted peppers and lots and lots of spices because we like it spicy. As always, I'm going to add a full description of this recipe in the description box below. So make sure you leave your comments and you share your thoughts. Now let me show you the ingredients. I have diced onions, crushed garlic, ras al hanout, Aleppo pepper, cumin seeds, harissa sauce, which is really, really spicy. And, I'm always mixed up, smoked paprika and cayenne pepper. For the garnish at the end, I'm going to add chopped parsley and crumbled feta cheese. Also, I have a little tip. A lot of people, when they prepare shakshuka, they like to use cast iron pan. But when you cook something acidic, like tomatoes, for more than 20 minutes, it will add that metallic taste to your dish and we don't really want that. So that's why today I'm going to use a stainless steel skillet. This way it will not affect the flavor of my shakshuka. So now let's move to the stove. Preheat a pan and add a few tablespoons of olive oil on a medium heat. Add a quarter of diced onion and sauté for a few minutes until the onion becomes translucent. Add the crushed garlic. Mix and sauté for a few seconds. Start adding the spices. One teaspoon of ras al hanout, half a teaspoon of Aleppo and half a teaspoon of whole cumin seeds. Mix and toss for 30 seconds and add a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. Simmer and add a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper and a generous tablespoon of smoked paprika and one teaspoon of harissa paste. It's time to add a cup of roasted peppers to bring the sweetness to this mix. Bring to a simmer, lower the heat and let it cook for about 20 minutes or so. Let the sauce to be thick enough to add the eggs. Use a tablespoon to make small wells in the sauce and crack the eggs into each well. Gently spoon in the sauce around the whites to help them cook more evenly. Cover the pan and cook for 5 to 8 minutes or until the eggs are done to your liking. Okay, so our shakshuka is ready. It takes only 30 minutes to prepare it and it's mostly pantry ingredients and uh, like I said before, you can add any toppings of your choice, um, any spices, whatever you like. Right now I'm going to um, garnish it with some crumbled feta cheese. I didn't add a lot of salt because I know that the feta cheese is already salty, so if you don't like salt, don't add it at all. And some parsley. It smells so delicious and um, all the flavors from all the spices, it's absolutely, I cannot even describe it. You have to make it. <laughs> oh yes, also, I like to add some honey to my shakshuka, just a little bit. So it can have that uh, tasty, salty combination. And now it's time to try it. I'm going to taste it with uh, toasted bread, but you can eat any bread of your choice. Go. 
So just make sure the egg yolk is runny and delicious. Yes. I hope it's not too spicy because I added a lot of spices. Oh my god. This is so delicious. Oh my god, I'm burning. It's really, really spicy. Mm. Mm. Oh. Perfect for breakfast, perfect for dinner, for lunch, and it's so easy to make. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you later. Take care.